In this video, we explain how to configure and optimize a Windows 11 computer for the best performance with your Thunderbolt Apollo and UAD2 plugins. It is extremely important that Windows and the computer's hardware drivers and software are up to date. This will ensure that your system has the latest bug fixes and improvements. First, to make sure Windows is up to date, click on the Start menu and open the Settings panel. Expand the window and then select Windows Update from the options on the left and install any available updates. Second, your computer may require updates to the most recent BIOS, chipset, and Thunderbolt drivers, so we always recommend making sure that the computer's drivers, software, and BIOS are up to date by installing the latest versions from the system manufacturer's website. This process may vary slightly by manufacturer, however, you can find the latest updates by looking up your computer or motherboard model on the manufacturer's website. Thunderbolt updates can generally be found in the Support or Download section under the Chipset category and the BIOS updates can be found under the BIOS category. Download and install the latest available Thunderbolt drivers, firmware, software, or BIOS updates listed for your system. In addition to updates, some PCs require you to manually enable Thunderbolt in the BIOS before any Thunderbolt hardware can be used. The steps for entering the BIOS and enabling this setting will vary depending on the computer or motherboard manufacturer and the BIOS version installed. If you're not sure how to access the BIOS on your computer, check out the manufacturer's documentation. After Windows and the computer manufacturer updates have been installed, follow these instructions to configure and optimize your computer for optimal performance. Next, disable Windows notification sounds to prevent them from interfering with audio from your DAW application. Click on the Start menu and open the Settings panel. Select Sound and then More Sound Settings to open the Sound Control panel. After the new window opens, select the Sounds tab. In the Sounds tab, select the Sound Scheme No Sounds and then click Apply to save the settings. Now, set the Apollo as your primary audio device for playback and recording. At the top of the sound window, select the Playback tab, and then set Universal Audio Thunderbolt as the default playback engine by pressing the Set Default button. Then, double-click on Universal Audio Thunderbolt to open the Properties window. This is where you can adjust Windows sound settings related to your Apollo. After the Properties window opens, select the Advanced tab and disable Exclusive Mode by unchecking the boxes. Note that the sample rate is set within the console application, so the sample rate selection will be grayed out and inaccessible. However, the rate set in console should match the rate shown under Windows Sound Settings. After the Advanced settings have been set under the Playback tab, click Apply and then OK to close the window. Back in the Sound window, select the Recording tab and set Universal Audio Thunderbolt as the default recording device by pressing the Set Default button. Then, double-click on Universal Audio Thunderbolt to open the Properties window, select the Advanced tab and disable Exclusive Mode by unchecking the boxes. After Advanced settings have been set under the Recording tab, click Apply and then OK to close the window. Then, back in the Sound window, click OK to close the window. Now, to set the sample rate that Windows will use to play system sounds through the Apollo, open the console application. At the bottom left of the console window, select the Rate drop-down menu and select the desired sample rate. Note, after setting the sample rate of a session in a DAW, it will automatically change the sample rate of your Apollo to match the session. The buffer size is the amount of time your computer has to process audio, and the resulting delay is known as latency. It is important to always check that you're using an appropriate buffer size for your current task. In most cases, lowering the buffer size during recording helps with latency, and increasing the buffer size allows for a lighter CPU load when mixing or arranging tracks for playback. However, with Apollo interfaces, you can always monitor inputs with near-zero latency regardless of the buffer size by using the console application. Note that decreasing the buffer results in lower latency for virtual instruments and inputs monitored through your DAW application. However, it also increases CPU load and can result in artifacts such as pops, clicks, or distortion. If you're encountering issues with audio artifacts such as pops, clicks, and distortion, or latency when playing virtual instruments, try adjusting the buffer to improve performance. To prevent Windows from spinning down the hard disk and decreasing processor performance, you need to configure Windows Power Management settings. Open Windows Control Panel by pressing Start and type Control Panel, and then hit Enter. Select Hardware and Sound, and then Power Options. In the Power Options settings, select Create a Power Plan, name the plan, and then click Next. On the next page, set drop-down menus to Never for the categories Turn off the display and put the computer to sleep, and then click Create. Note that some systems require additional power customization, which varies depending on the computer manufacturer. 
To check if your system requires additional configuration after the custom plan is selected, click on Change Plan Settings and then click Change Advanced Power Settings. Then, locate Processor Power Management in the new window and click the plus sign to expand the category. Set the minimum processor state to 100. Then select Hard Disk, click the plus sign next to Turn Off Hard Disk After and set it to Never. This ensures that your CPU can always operate at its full speed so you get the best possible performance with your system when using your Apollo with a DAW application. Then click Apply to save the changes. Note that if the power options are unavailable in Windows, this may indicate that advanced configuration is needed within the BIOS. Some computers feature CPU power management abilities that dynamically change clock speeds and sleep states. These processes can adversely affect real-time audio and cause audio artifacts such as pops, clicks, and beeps. If you're experiencing these types of issues, we recommend disabling the following features in the BIOS so it will run at a constant clock speed and not halt individual cores. Intel Speed Step, or EIST, Intel Turbo Boost, or Turbo Mode, and C-State Control, or C1E, C3, C6, or C7. Manufacturers refer to these features differently, so we always recommend consulting your computer or motherboard manual or contacting the manufacturer for help with making any changes in your BIOS or UEFI setup utility as the exact steps will vary depending on your computer or motherboard model and BIOS version installed. Screensaver activity can interrupt signal processing. For optimal performance when recording, disable the screensaver when using a DAW. Click on the Start menu and open the Settings panel. Now select Personalization and click Lock Screen. In the Lock Screen section, click Screensaver Settings and then Screensaver Settings window will open. Select None from the Screensaver drop-down menu and then click Apply to commit the changes. These optimizations may not directly relate to Apollo or UAD2 hardware functionality. However, they should help with overall computer system and DOS software performance. Always implement all system tuning tips recommended by the makers of your DOS software as well. Close all programs that run in the background, such as third-party antivirus software, instant messaging, disk maintenance, or other background processes. We recommend disconnecting from the internet before disabling any antivirus software and re-enabling it before reconnecting to the internet. Disable all unnecessary startup items. Disable Windows Update before using DAW software so it doesn't run in the background. To reduce background processing, remove unwanted programs such as those installed with pre-configured computers, aka bloatware. Alternatively, install a fresh installation of a stock version of Microsoft Windows to accomplish the same result. When recording with a notebook computer, use the AC power adapter. For additional assistance or questions about Apollo and the included console software, visit help.uaudio.com or refer to our other support videos.